Hi, welcome to the National Music Academy. I'm Mitchell, and today I'm going to show you how to restring an acoustic guitar. Now, you might need to change your string on a guitar for a lot of reasons. The string might be sounding a bit a bit fuzzy, it might have lost its tang, it might have broken actually. So today I'm going to be showing you the process you need to go through in order to retach a new string. Now for most acoustic guitars, the bridge has a series of six pins. Now these pins hold the string in place. It might be different for some acoustic guitars, but this is a good standard for most acoustics. Now before we get into it, there are a couple of things that you can get that'll make restringing your guitar a lot easier. So you're going to need a table, and also maybe a towel or a rug to put over the top to stop it from scratching the guitar. You're also going to need a winding tool, this is going to come in handy. You'll need a guitar tuner to see the notes that you're tuning to. You'll need a wire clipper to clip any excess from the strings. And you'll also need a fresh packet of strings. Alright, so today I'm using Elixir Acoustic Lights. They're a phosphorus bronze string. They're a 12 to 53 gauge. I like these ones. I like Elixirs. They um, have a nano coating, which means they last a bit longer. They have a pretty good tone as well. But of course, you're able to use whatever strings that you prefer. So before we start to replace the string, what we first want to do is actually remove any of the tension from the string first. So all you need to do is grab your winder tool and then just wind down that string. So now you can actually see that the tension is removed, so now we can safely remove the string. Now there are two options you can go through. You can remove the string as a whole just by unwinding the end and then taking that from the bridge, or you can actually cut it using the clippers around the center of the sound hole. So now that the string's been cut, we can now safely remove it. Um, with the top end, all you need to do is simply unwind the string and then remove it. For some guitars, you can simply push the rest of the string in and the pin will come out. But for me, I like to use my tuning tool because there's a little groove in there for the pin to sit. You just need to scoop it under and then lift it up. So make sure you put the pin in a nice safe place and get the strings out of the way. Now is actually a good time to actually remove any grime or any dirt or anything from the fretboard and the frets. So now we can get to replacing the string. Now make sure that you have the correct gauge string or thickness of string for the one that you're replacing. If you have the wrong one, it'll throw off the tension. It'll put too much tension on the string and it'll actually break it. So make sure they have the correct string for what you're replacing. So the pin actually has a little groove in it, as you can see and that's where the string goes. So when you're putting the pin back into the guitar, make sure the string goes into the groove and then underneath the bridge. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is just bend the string a little bit, just so it sits nice on the bridge. You want to place it in, get your pin, and then press it down like that. So the pin is facing, the groove of the pin is facing upwards like that. Then once it's in, you want to give the string a bit of a pull. And that locks it into place. So now that's locked into the bridge, it's time to look at the headstock. What you're going to want to do is grab the end of your string, and you're going to want to thread it from the inside of the headstock to the outside through the little bridge pin. This means that when you tune it up, it'll be going the right way and the natural way that it's designed to go. So at this point, some people actually like to cut the end of the string like that and leave a couple of inches and then wind it up. Personally, I like to leave it to that to the very end so there's less cutting all the way through. Once the string's been weaved through, put a little kink in it to keep it in place. So before we wind up, we've got to make sure that we have enough slack in our string because having no slack at all will actually mean the tension will be applied a lot quicker than one of the strings are used to and it'll actually possibly break. You also got to make sure that you grab your trusty tuner and attach it to the headstock. So now we can get our winder tool and we can start to wind up that string. Also make sure that is locked into the nut as well. So we got the string in tune. We've just got one more thing to do, and that's to kind of stretch the string a bit. This will make it last a bit longer, and it'll mean that it won't be breaking as quickly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to grab your fingers and kind of wrap it around that string there. Get your thumb and place it on the body, 
and you're just going to want to kind of stretch it up and down the neck. Not too tight because it will actually unwind the thing but just enough so you can actually feel a bit of that pressure and then check it again it should be detuned. So then we wash, rinse, repeat and we keep on tuning it back up and keep on repeating that process of just stretching that string out. The more you do it, um, the less the string is going to actually detune the first little bit. And there you go. You just keep on doing that until you can stretch the string and play around with it a bit and it stays in tune. Now we can cut off the excess bit of string. So I always like to keep my clippers nice and small so I can actually get in there. You want to find where the string is sticking out. Maybe go half a centimeter out and then just clip down and then flatten that bit down a little bit. Now you might find that when once you've done that, the guitar actually detunes a little bit. So all you need to do is just tune it back up. Do the stretch test again just to make sure it's not coming out. Keep on doing that until the string stays at the note you want it to stay at. So that's it for how to replace a single string on a guitar. If you want to restring a whole guitar, you just use that same method the whole way through. Now in terms of what order to do it in, there's no real right or wrong answer, but as long as you keep the pressure even as you're doing it, you should be okay. I know people who like to do it two at a time. I personally like to do it one at a time. I know some people even like to do the first string first, and then the, set, the sixth string, second string, the fifth string and go in from the center. If you actually have the time, I would recommend de the guitar and leaving it for a couple of days. That actually lets the neck naturally um, bend back into place and actually might help your intonation and keep the guitar a lot healthier. So that's it for today's vlog. If you have any more questions about how to restring a guitar or what kind of strings to use or any other questions, our details are down below. Please hit us up and we'll try and answer them the best that we can. My name's been Mitchell and I'll see you guys in the next video.